so here we have outer join outer join is basically as we have discussed already that it also gives the result from one of the table or both of the both of the table even if they don't satisfy the joining condition okay so let's say let's try to understand this with the help of vein diagram so basically this left outer join is rep represented by this join symbol and then the left side is extended like this so it means all the tuples from the left uh, relation will be included similarly the right outer join is completely reverse and it is extended towards right it means all the tuples from the right relation will be included and this full outer join is extended to both of the side it means all the columns from both the table will be included fine and let's try to understand this with the help of vein diagram so if this is your r1 let's say r1 and if and if this is r2 okay then the result will be basically this complete this is basically your intended result right but in the result all the tuples from r1 will be outputted that's why we call it left outer okay similarly for right outer let's say this is r1 and this is r2 this is r1 this is r2 then all the tuples in including this this is our result and i mean this is the tuple which satisfy the condition okay and all the other tuples will also be from the right relation will also be given as result okay similarly here in full outer join this this entire thing will be given as result okay okay now let's solve an example on this so we will take two we have here two relation that is department which has did and department as attribute and similarly we have employee relation where eid name and department is attributes now we have to find out or let's say we have to join these tables and let's say we'll consider left outer join between this department I'll write in short and this employee okay and we have certain joining condition and the joining condition here is department equal to depart DPT that is attribute of this employee okay so if you see this dpt belongs to this employee relation and this dep belongs to this department fine so as it is left outer join we know that the result will contain all the tuples from department whereas it will contain the tuples only the matching tuples from employee so let's solve this and find out what is the solution so when we perform this join operation the resultant will have these four attributes that is department ID department name here this EID that is employee ID and employee name and this department of this employee is not written because our joining condition is department and department of both these okay so they will be repeated anyway so we don't write it twice now if you see here the department ID of this department attribute is written and all the tuples from this department appears here okay but as we don't have any employee from IT department okay so the corresponding entry for this IT department will be null fine 
so this is how left outer joint works similarly right outer joint and full outer joint works that we will see in SQL so for now this is all about joint conditions so to revise we have two types of joint inner joint and outer joint inner joint are again of three to three types depending upon the joining condition that is theta joint equi joint and natural joint and outer joint are also of three types that is left outer joint here where all the tuples from left are included right outer joint and similarly full outer joint so I hope this is clear now and we will see more examples and basically the direct SQL queries in the SQL section so I hope this is clear if you have any doubt ask your question in doubt section thanks for watching